now for the rant wheel. Here's how it works. We'll spin the wheel wherever it lands. We'll talk about the topic. This week on the wheel, we have prisoner firefighters uh, in California, uh, an 11 year old hacking voting results, Stephen Miller's uncle, Trump's snub of John McCain, Mark Burnett, Niles Crane, interesting, exciting, a 14 year old candidate in Vermont, and the shortest serving state senator in California. Let's spin the wheel. It has landed on a 14-year-old candidate uh, in Vermont. I believe this was yours, Gonzalo. That was mine. There is a 14-year-old candidate in Vermont. Uh, basically, it's a 14-year-old kid who, that's, that's, you guys can't see him. Oh, but, he's um, barely 14. But, yeah, he looks like he was passed over when he auditioned to no. be JTT and Home Improvement. <laughs> oh, no. he's a sweet kid. Uh, he is a sweet kid. He's, uh, he's a 14-year-old kid who's uh, running in the Democratic primary for governor in Vermont. And... By the way, I just want to point out, have you ever noticed that the kids who, like, run for public office, like, the teens are always kids who would lose their high school elections? <laughs> did they just forget to write the rules about age requirements? They, yes, they did. State? There was a loophole. There wasn't an age bot. There wasn't an age. And he's like, I see a loophole. He can't vote. My, my problem with it is that I don't think that virgins should run for public office. <laughs> oh, I just that's don't, not fair. I There's so I, I, many already there. <laughs> Maybe it's small-minded, but I don't believe that you should represent the people if you've never had sex with one. <laughs> That's just my rule. Okay. Okay. Like, like, do you know when... How are you applauding that? <laughs> what is that idea to you? <laughs> <laughs> who could have guessed that someone who's almost not a virgin would have this platform? <laughs> <laughs> Let's spin it again. It has landed on Niles Crane, which was suggested by Emily. I just, I think that Niles Crane is so superior to Frasier, and it makes, <laughs> thank you, and it makes me so mad that, that everyone's talking about, everyone's asking Kelsey Grammer how he feels about the reboot. There should be a Niles Crane spinoff. There should have been one years ago. I know that he was, he could have, he's good enough to do two shows at once. He could have still been on Frasier, had his own spinoff. The new reboot should be Niles Crane. He is one of the best characters on TV. That's all. Does this count as a rant? I don't know. It does. <laughs> It has landed on Mark Burnett, uh, the producer of The Apprentice, friend to Donald Trump. <laughs> Just clicked for you. Just clicked for you mid sentence. <laughs> Donald Trump obviously tweeted something along the lines of, I just talked to Mark Burnett and he says I never said it. <laughs> I think that Mark Burnett has gotten such a pass from this town, we're in Los Angeles, he's gotten a pass from Democrats, he's treated like a respectable person, it is ridiculous. Uh, now, he has been publicly silent, right? Everybody's saying that he is sitting on tapes uh, where Donald Trump says these awful things. He, the best we've got is Donald Trump recanting what happened when he clearly got Mark Burnett on the call. Now, one nice thing to think about is the facial expression Mark Burnett made <laughs> when his assistant came in and said, Donald Trump's on the blower. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. Mark Burnett has important evidence that's important to the country of what Donald Trump is like, and he is protecting Donald Trump. All the bullshit about the legal reasons, all the ramifications for releasing it are... <laughs> Nonsense. He is choosing to protect Donald Trump. He's choosing to protect him every day, and he has gotten away with it, and he should not be a respectable figure in this country. He is uh, participating in a cover-up. That's all I wanted to say yeah. about that. Should we spin it one more time? Yeah. Yeah. It has landed... On Stephen Miller's uncle. <laughs> that guy's cool. <laughs> I, you know, similarly to the fact that George Conway tweeted very explicitly today that he thinks Donald Trump fucking blows, and he's been doing that for a long time. 
It's important to remember, like, we don't know what goes on inside of families and inside of marriages. <laughs> I don't know the relationship between Kellyanne Conway and George Conway. I don't know what happens in that house when they disagree. When Now, I know what would happen in my relationship if uh, my partner basically said that I am participating in a great fraud against the American people uh, and that my the most important job I've ever had is uh, basically part of a historic wrong like <laughs> I know what would happen if in my house there'd be words about it there'd be a conversation mm -hmm. I don't know how it would end yeah. I don't know it's interesting to me because typically it's the uncle who's racist right <laughs> I know <laughs> yes. <laughs> like Stephen Miller is so racist, his uncle isn't racist. Yeah. <laughs> if your uncle tells you you're the racist one, you are so racist. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that he's at like there's some like comic who's like, you know, you go to Thanksgiving and there he is, your racist nephew. And he's like, exactly, exactly. That is my family. Racist nephews, am I right? Every family's got one. Every family's got one. Racist fucking nephews, classic, classic. It's a small thing, but there was something that really touched me deeply when he referred to Stephen Miller's mother, whose name is Miriam. What a beautiful Jewish name, <laughs> Miriam. His mother's name is Miriam, and this is the little fucking shit he's become. You come from, you come from glossers and Miriams, and this is how you behave. Unbelievable. Those of us that come from Ruthies and Shirleys and Bernards and Bessies, shame on you. <laughs> Just naming common Jewish family names. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Stephen Miller's uncle seems like a cool guy. I hope that uh, Thanksgiving's at his house. <laughs> <laughs>